Using rapid heating and cooling in your molding process can help achieve a high gloss, high quality surface finish, along with stronger weld lines, elimination of surface defects, and lower injection pressures. Simulating this effect has been available in Autodesk Moldflow for the past several years, and for Moldflow 2016, we've partnered with RockTool, a leading provider of induction heating technology, to develop simulation for electromagnetic heating of the mold as well. The fundamental concept behind induction heating is to heat only the surface of the mold, which leaves the bulk of the tool cold, resolving many of the cycle time challenges with typical rapid heating and cooling approaches. There are two important things to review when evaluating an induction heating system, that the heating effect is occurring in the proper location, and that the effect is strong enough to heat the surface of the mold to the right temperature. Temperature results show the variation in temperature through the entire thickness of the mold at any point in the molding process. To ensure a high quality surface finish, you can view the temperature at critical points on the mold surface to ensure it remains above the glass transition temperature of the material as the melt front passes. You can also evaluate the time required to heat the mold and the cooling time needed to eject safely. The effects of induction heating are used throughout, so you can evaluate not just the effectiveness of the heating and cooling phases of the process, but also on how it impacts the flow of plastic into the mold and the resulting warpage in the manufactured part. Whether you want to experiment with induction heating or you want to make sure your system is designed for maximum effectiveness, the new induction heating capabilities inside Moldflow 2016 can help.